In this tutorial, we will implement a um, custom cursor crosshair device where you can get your crosshairs by just shooting at them or by also um, choosing them via interacting. Um, if you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If you want to access the code or the assets of this video um, or are looking for help, you can check our Patreon in the description. Let's continue with the tutorial. Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll be doing a custom crosshair device, so uh, this one will be a showcase as well, but you know, I'll show the entire thing to you and it's not actually that long as well. Um, so for this one we're using, so instead of first UI we're using like hood message devices because um, because you can't um, draw uh, you can't draw st stuff on the default cursor with first UI but you can with the hood messenger so that's why uh, we are using the hood message device so we have a um, class we have a like a container da data class defined it has three fields so we have an objective device and a button device so you can use uh, like any of them or you can you, you can you know you can use both of them as well this is for selecting the um, image for your cursor so it can be done via uh, a button or it can be done through an objective device so basically by shooting so we are um, so with the objective device we're going to have uh, I'll, I'll show you in the scene but we are going to have a, a plane uh, so we'll have a like the uh, we have the major plane that has a texture on it and that uh, texture will have the icons and the emojis on them and then we'll just align the um, small uh, objective device objective device planes uh, exactly on top of those um, icons and then and also in front so when the player shoots them um, they are, um, you know, uh, we, we get to know which um, uh, icon was selected. Um, so also the hood message device that is associated with this image. Uh, so basically all the things you need to, so let me first talk, talk about what you need to set. So you need to, so we have an array of these image selection classes. So basically for all of them, um, you need to set the hood messenger device and either the button or the objective device or you know or both of them and then we have the same thing so but for the uh, for the for resetting so uh, for the resetting uh, you can either set a button or a objective device again um, and then so here's the thing um, so then we have the damage disabling zone so this is just a mutator zone and you can actually have like any setting you want um, in this mutator zone except you know um, disabling fire uh, because if you disable the fire um, input then you can't uh, like select icons select uh, new icons for your for the cursor by firing right but that's also um, opens up the problem of you know people shooting each other and you don't want that in the lobby so um, this zone uh, fixes that by you know um, basically nullifying the, the damage done to, um, to players um, that, that are in this zone so by using so by referencing, the, I mean, you you probably have a you're probably going to have a mutator zone in your lobby. So you can just um, set the reference of that zone um, on the crosshair device, and then uh, this code will enable um, that the players are not going to be um, they are not going to lose health or shield when they are you know uh, when someone shoots at them. So. Then yeah, for each image selection, we in, we initialize them. So what we do here, you know, classic, we just listen to the events. We set the reference for the main device, and what we do is we like heal the objective device. That might seem as odd. Uh, it's just uh, objective device is actually to be honest a bit buggy. Um, so if you don't call a function on the objective device 
Uh, first, uh, the events of it won't be called, but for now it seems like uh, this workaround fixes it. Um, but of course, um, you might want to maybe not want to rely on the objective device and add a button for the icons. But in my opinion, to be honest, selecting the icons by firing is just much more fun. So we just, in the events of undamaged on damaged or inter, on interact with, we call the um, function of the main device to select that icon. So for each agent, we um, store the hood device that is uh, currently active. So if a player joins, um, we listen to their damaged events um, so that, um, you know, we, we, we can, uh, we are able, so we can uh, make them, you know, uh, we can uh, nullify their damage when they are in the mutator zone, like I said so, in the damage disabling zone. And this is the code, so if they are in the zone, they are basically um, setting their health and shield to the max, so they won't be get damaged basically. Um, on So on reset damaged, um, so here, yeah, so this is where the reset um, like icon is damaged or this is where the when the resets um, um, icon is interacted with. So we basically just call reset crosshair, which you know removes any uh, current uh, active hoods from the agent. And then the in the actual function uh, of show, we just you know first we make sure to reset it, and then we set this current hood as the active one. And then we store it on the map so that we can, you know, um, use it back again to reset it. And so, yeah, it was simple enough. Um, as I said, since we didn't use a, we didn't, we didn't do worse UI with this. This is quite short. So let me uh, scroll up slowly so that you can see all of it. All right. All right, cool. Now I'll... I'll continue with the scene and um, let's see you there. Um, so before continuing with the scene, let me show you the assets for this one. So first we have our, like the major asset, right? We are going to use this to um, just let the players um, choose the icon in the game. Um, and so basically we are going to place, um, so, um, so this is the, uh, you know the major texture and we um, have all these like uh, crosshairs and the emojis as um, separate textures so if I go to here now you can see the emojis and then you can see our custom crosshairs actually rename it like that okay then we have the reset icon so of course um, since this doesn't use a this course, this tutorial doesn't use a um, custom like verse UI. It uses the hood message devices. It's actually really easy to your own, um, like your own textures. But if you happen to use ours, or if you want to, you know, um, just um, directly download the code, you can check our Patreon in the description. Um, so, so let me show you. Um, like device by device what we are doing here so this is dirt device here i'm going to demonstrate that uh, the damage damage disabling zone works which is just a mutator zone right um you can set any property on it you want but just remember to make it so that uh, it allows we weapon fire uh, weapon fires um, um because we want to be able to choose our icons with just shoot, uh, shooting so if we come to a crosshair device so for each one i have the hood message device and the objective uh, device and the button set so i just basically place these on top of the you know you can see um but they will be visible in the game because uh buttons are invisible and the also the objective device itself is just a plane and I also made it um, invisible so that uh, you in the game 
we will be just seeing the plane itself. Um, so make sure you make the objective devices invulnerable so they are not destroyed. Um, um, and then we have the so we have the reset the, the fire um, I'm sorry the, the reset selection object object device and the um, button reset button separately on here um, yeah and then we have the mutator zone and let me show you the hood messages so um, so for each of them um for all right oh, okay all right let me pull this up okay so we have a blueprint widget a ui widget uh, for each of these hood message devices so uh, this is just an empty canvas uh, with a cursor image uh, at the center so the, the beautiful part of this is that you can just you know um, set the size of this to whatever you want and you know these are just the same thing with different cursors uh, I mean the bit different crosshairs and emojis basically and in the hood message device I just uh, it's on the layer zero and uh, make sure that it doesn't have a time right uh, and make sure that it's on the center and then you just set the hood widget to your own widget like like by dropping and dropping like this or by selecting from the assets um all right and actually that's also uh, and yeah that's all the thing I'll also i have a item spawner so that i'll i'll, I'll take this gun and shoot it um shoot the icons to select them okay so that's all with the scene uh, really simple uh, now i'll continue with play testing it and show you how it's done all right now if i come here and get my weapon you can see that now i can just switch between the um crosshairs just by shooting right and um, I can reset it and also remember that I have set the button so I can actually okay the name <laughs> I forgot to set the name properly so for all of them it's reset but you know you can so you can do both you can do the button or you can do the just shooting um, whichever do you want um, I mean, you can set both of them as well and of course you might be thinking oh wait I can't like I can't let people shoot in the lobby or they'll they will like eliminate each other well it's not a issue because because of the little mutator zone code we've written so if i for example let me show you if i come to this turret device now it'll keep shooting me and but nothing happens because the zone keeps me alive even though it should actually be able to kill me but it can't because of the zone all right, so you can the, using this. I mean, you will probably already be using a mutator zone for the lobby, uh, right? Uh, so you can now just use that device. Uh, use the you know set the reference of that device on the um, cursor device, and then um, it won't allow um, players to be eliminated. And this is all. Um, to access the code or the assets of this video, you can check our Patreon. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe and share if you enjoyed. And also leave a comment on what tutorial you would want to see next. See you later.